Hello everyone. I welcome you here again. So today we will talk about research proposal flow chart. Lots of scholars are there, uh, new scholars who knows how to prepare a research proposal. Thesis se pehle a proposal research proposal dena hota hai. So this is the flow chart which is popularly available in public domain. So let's see what are the major uh, points which needs to be covered in research proposal. So majorly this flowchart sh shows there are total six key points. The first one is introduction. Second is literature review. Third methodology. Fourth preliminary data. Then fifth statement of limitations. And sixth conclusion. So let's say somebody decides a particular topic on which that scholar wants to do final research on thesis. So before that, they need to give research proposal. So it will include introduction, which will have what, why and how uh, questions, uh, why this particular topic is important, what is this topic about and how this research will contribute to the final body of knowledge. So those kind of things comes under introduction. Then literature review. So what has already been done? Which kind of research work has been already taken care, care of? And uh, what previous authors, researchers, scholars are talking about? So then here we need to find the gap. Here it says find a hole, which means uh, what are the gaps in the existing literature? So literature review say we need to find the gap okay then comes the methodology in methodology there comes research design the procedure the kind of data which will be used collection procedure ethical statement cost funding selection and access human subjects review so which kind of uh, actually methodology uh, talks about every kind of steps which will be used to collect the data and to process it okay the third is prelim uh, fourth is preliminary data so what is it what this data is all about so most of the time researchers collect primary data in some cases secondary data is good enough but most of the time in empirical study people go in the field and collect the data so this point talks about that the fifth is statement of limitations. So once the topic is identified, so the scope is limited. Anything which is beyond that scope is not the part of that particular research. So a statement of purpose is also important. Okay. Let's say in terms of methodology, particular methodology is used. There are other methodologies which could be, could have been used. So those comes under limitations. In, the, in, in another sense, context also a limitation in terms of sample size, in terms of region, in terms of uh, the kind of respondents have been used. So anything comes under limitations. So these needs to be mentioned in the research proposal. Then comes the conclusion. It talks about uh, what is the importance of this? What, what kind of contribution they will make? What kind of... Uh, research output they are expecting. So these things will come in the research proposal. So this is just 